Let's begin by opening a Finder window. I want to look in my folder called My Family History and in the Surnames folder within. Then I want to change into my Roan folder. Now within this folder, we've got a, a, an alias folder we created in the previous screencast. And within that folder, there's the 1930 U.S. Census file that we used in that example. And I want to show you something within here. Like many U.S. Censuses, they have references to multiple people of interest when there are families living in a household. So here we can see Minda J. Roan and her daughters, Barbara S. Roan, Virginia C. Roan, and her son, James R. Roan. So I've got this one file that references those four individuals. And while I have a copy of the file in Minda's folder, I don't have one in either Virginia's James or Barbara's. And so I do want one in each of those places because the file is also about each one of them. But I don't want the file to be copied multiple times. For instance, if I were to replace that with a higher re uh, resolution, a higher quality copy of it sometime in the future, I don't want to have to search and figure out where I have the copies of that file and, and um, figure out if files by different names are really the same file and that sort of thing. So I'm going to use aliases to make that all very, very simple. So I'm, I'm going to start similarly to the way that I did with the, the Finder uh, folder aliases. In order to create an alias of a file within Finder, one selects the, the file that one is interested in. So in this case, it's this U.S. Census file. I've already clicked on it once, so it's selected. And then up in the File menu, again, we're going to do Make Alias. Now in this one, since I'm going to be making multiple aliases for the same file, I'm going to use this command key, command L, um, for all but the first one. So first I'm going to click Make Alias. And so you can see I've got an alias of that file. Again, like the folder, it put the word alias at the end. And like the folder, the icon that represents the file or folder has a little black arrow on it. So I've got my first alias. I'm going to go ahead and make the other two aliases, so I'm going to select back on that that um, original file, and I'm going to press Command L to create another folder, or another alias, and you can see that one says alias 2. I'll select this one more time and do that same thing, so now I have alias, alias 2, alias 3. All three of these are pointers that point to that one file. So what I'm going to want to do is take each of those and copy them into the places, or move them actually, into the places where I want them to be. So first was Barbara Roan. I'm going to click back here and grab alias 2, and I'm going to put that in James, in the folder for James Roan. And then I'm going to take alias number 3, and I'm going to drop that in the one for Virginia Roan. So then let's work within these. So you can see I've got, let me back up a second. So you can see within each of these folders, I have an alias to that one file. So let me go back into to Barbara's folder here, and I want to work with this alias file because I don't like the word alias on the end. Again, the black arrow tells me that it's an alias, so I don't need that as a clue or a cue. So I'm going to delete the word alias from the end. This is my personal preference. And the, the other important file name change that I want to make is this file actually refers to Barbara Roan, as well as Mindarone. And in this case, since it's in the Barbara's folder, it doesn't it doesn't really concern me that it refers to Minda J. Roan, her mother. It concerns me that it refers to Barbara Roan. So I'm going to go ahead and um, just press return since I had that file name selected, or you can click in the file name and it will select it. And I'm going to change this reference so that it's no longer Minda Roan. I'm going to change it to Barbara S. Roan. That was the name that was used in the census file. So I'm just going to leave it that way, and then press return. So now I've changed the name of this alias, but it still points to that same file that in Minda J. Roan's folder has a different name on it. So that's one of the really handy things about this. So now I can change the name of this folder. I can find files about Barbara Roan, but they're actually the same file as the file that has Minda Roan, and actually it's the same file that we're going to now adjust for James and Virginia. So I'm going to do the same thing again. I'm going to, oops, didn't mean to open that. I'm going to go into this directory so that I can change this file name. Let me drag this out so we can see what we're doing. I'm going to select this 
and I'm going to remove the alias from the end, and then I'm going to go to the beginning, and I'm going to change this to James. James R for James Rubin Roan. I'm going to press return. That one's done. I'm going to go back up to you here, go into Virginia's folder, and do the same thing for her. Remove the alias keyword, go back to the beginning of the name, and change this to Virginia C. Again, I, I use the same name that was in the file um, that I'm working with so that um, it's obvious to me when I look at it from the file name what name was used in the document or in the file that the, that the document contains. So now we've got that one file, the original here, and then an alias to it in each of these three directories, and any one of these will open up that same census file that we started with. So in this case, I, I uh, clicked on the one for Barbara, and you can see it's that same file, and here's Barbara S. in there.